Hey guys, it's Captain Collector. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a time-lapse video of me painting the Star Trek Voyager model kit from Monogram. And so first I started off in the bathroom downstairs and I had this box um, that I've gotten from shipping and I cut out the top and put in like plastic so it can help let light through. And so here I'm using a primer. It's called Style and Res. And this is a black primer that's already made to be used in an airbrush. So I did dilute it a little bit with water because people have have reported that it's a little thicker than than the regular primers and so there's a little bit of water that I'm putting into the cup of the airbrush. And then I'm just quickly um, going through this as a as a base coat, like a primer. And my intention was to paint it gold after this. Um, this still took about two to three coats of paint. This priming process occurred over multiple days, but here we can see what it looks like when it's all dry. It's a very matte finish, very smooth. I really liked it a lot. Um, I considered just keeping it as this black color. Yeah, some parts on top are a little bit wet, but overall the paint dried pretty quickly and I could, it was easy to, um, to handle it without leaving fingerprints or or smudging the paint or something. But I didn't realize that the my countertops for the bathroom are kind of like some sort of rock. And so acrylic paint's really bad for this. It just it just stains it and it's really hard to get out. So luckily I had all this paper set down and plastic too, but um, I ended up moving to the garage. We got a table to sit over the dog kennel and I just set up everything back into the garage. And there's actually more room so I could actually have both ships out even though I only painted one um, in the beginning. And then here I ended up using acrylic paint from P3. It's um, it's a brand of paint and I'm not sure if I used, I think I used Rulik Gold and which I think I intended to use solid gold but I ended up using a, a darker gold and um, I ended up trying this on the bottom of the ship first because just in case it, it went wrong you know it would people wouldn't see the bottom as much if there were like weird layers and stuff. So I ended up painting it um, just with that one pot full of paint and I ended up seeing that it was a little bit too dark. It was darker than I wanted and it was actually slightly more green. Um, it's kind of hard to tell but in the light you could see that it's, it's kind of more green. So I ended up just so this wasn't what I was going for and so I just ended up uh, repriming the whole thing white. And so this is from the same company, the Style and Res. And their white is also pretty, yeah, the white was a little bit harder to use. It kept kind of clogging up my airbrush. I added water, then it got too watery. Um, so you can see me like using my brush to like smooth out areas where it just kind of splattered a bunch of uh, watery paint. Um, and then the white on top of black is, is not great. It took a lot of layers, maybe about five five layers of this paint to kind of cover the black and then even still like I could tell some parts were kind of like camo looking which is a cool look but um at some point I was just like this is as good as it's gonna get so I just called it after five layers and it doesn't look too bad it was it's it's a pretty smooth finish there are some parts in the dimmer light where you can see it's like kind of kind of uneven or kind of camo looking uh, mostly on the, the back So I decided to go with a glossy black for the base. So the base I ended up painting black and it just looked really, it didn't look very special. It didn't look, it shouldn't like overpower the ship, but I thought it should still kind of have that same shiny or glossiness. So the gold paint I ended up going with Montana Gold and this is their color M3000 Gold Chrome. Um, I was kind of worried that this would leave fingerprints or something people would say like oh if you press on it It would like indent and smudge So I, I really tried to give it the full two days before I flipped it over And so this whole process was like multiple days and I think I ended up going with About two layers and then just kind of touching up here and there um, But I really like this color. This is kind of what I was going for a very 
glossy, a very shiny mirror finish. So yeah, I had to like go back in at different angles and try to make sure I get all the different sides of the windows and underneath all the crevices. But after one layer, it looked really good. Um, so this part, this is actually the navigational deflector. I just looked this up and I totally forgot that I had this last piece, but it's, it's clear. And I think you could potentially put light behind it and kind of show through, but with a gold ship, it's just, this is going to be gold as well. So I did spray this one separately and then I glued it with super glue to the ship after it was dry. Okay, so here, this is what I just kind of thought of last minute to do. Um, I have some leftover felt from a project that I, I didn't use. I used the base from my second ship, which had not been primed or painted yet, just in case I had this white pencil, I didn't want it to get all over the black painted base. So I used the, the second one, which I'll paint over later anyway. And I just traced it. I also traced the insides of the badge, but I ended up not cutting out those pieces because um, it was just a... Uh, a little bit too small and and it wouldn't really make a difference so I just left those as is. Okay so we're back in the garage where I'm I'm putting them together and this is what it looks like all done and painted. Yeah, I really liked how it just it just picked up all those details. This was just really nice. And I was surprised that it still kept all these details even though I I primed it like with you know at least 10 layers, you know, with the black, with the white, with the gold on the bottom. Um it was still able, you know, airbrushing is is thin enough where it, it was okay and it could still retain those details. So here I'm cleaning up the piano moving away all the books and dusting it off and getting it ready for for a new display piece and that's pretty much it it's just an overview of some of the details i really like that garage it's a i think it's like a a shuttle the shuttle launch that had some really nice details just some, I think these are back windows or something. I don't really know. The warp nacelles, some more windows. Yeah, so you can kind of see areas where like if their glue was too much and the gold kind of, you can see it uh, boarding the windows. And so I'm glad I picked like the messier ship, I hope uh, to paint completely gold. And here's a shot of the bottom. The aero shuttle. The navigational deflector. Here's the stand. Yeah, the gloss just makes it a little bit special, you know, just a little bit shiny to kind of match with the ship. And that's pretty much it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video.